In spite of the efforts made by the Surinamese government to connect, no African nation has made an attempt to establish diplomatic representation in Suriname as of February 2024. This lack of diplomatic representation highlights the limited political and economic ties between Suriname and African nations. Suriname is one of the most verdant countries in South America and is home to descendants of enslaved people, namely the Creole and the Maroons, whose ancestry was from various parts of Africa. The people who were able to escape the Dutch bonds of slavery into the jungle are known as Maroons, while the people who served and put up with the circumstances of slavery until it was abolished are known as Creoles. The yearly Maroon Day celebration pays tribute to the history and contributions of the Maroon people to Suriname. The Surinamese Maroon culture is one of the best preserved African ancestral heritages and customs outside of Africa. It is important to note that most Africans do not refer to themselves as Maroons. They usually opted for liberatory, powerful names such as Nyankipong Pikibu, which means children of the Almighty, in Twai, or Boney's people, or simply Africans. His Excellency Vice President King Ronnie Brunswick is the first person of Maroon heritage to occupy the office of president since the country's independence on November 25, 1975. He invited traditional leaders from all the regions of Africa to join the celebration in Suriname on October 10, 2023. The journey, which could have taken six hours, took days to get to Suriname due to the absence of diplomatic and trade relations. In fact, many invited traditional rulers could not attend due to the constraints and conditionality of the required airport transit visa for the Netherlands and other EU countries. Nevertheless, African traditional leaders were committed to reconnecting ancestral ties and determined to establish diplomatic and trade ties with Suriname. The African Royal Kingdom's delegates were deeply moved, and in the following interviews, they each expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to reconnect with the Maroon people and urged for the unification of all Afro-Surinamese without prejudice or exemptions, as well as reconnecting cultural ties with Africa. They also emphasized the importance of preserving and celebrating their rich history and traditions together as a necessary step towards healing. The program was organized by the African Views Organization, a non-profit organization consisting of committed activists who are passionate about rebuilding the bridge and reconnecting the ties of empowerment between Africa and its diaspora and within the Afro-Surinamese community. All right, good evening and thank you for joining us. Good evening. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Trying to remember my French, but merci beaucoup. That's thank you. <laughs> I think that's thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us. And also thank you for taking the time out of your evening um, to be part of this, these interviews as we diverge into, you know, your part of the Suriname. First of all, you know, the visit to Suriname and what your 2024 looks like. Um, in realms of the African views and also with preserving culture. I'd like to hear your take on what your 2023 looked like um, with everything that we're doing as African views. If you could share that for the audience. Hey, wow, salam alaikum. Uh, I hope that Dr. Wali told you that I'm not including in this speaker. So simple questions in simple English. We'll do that. No problem. Okay. Okay. So, what is the first question? Uh, first I have to catch my words. To, yes, okay. I have to catch my words to make a phrase so slowly. So, what oh. is the first question? My first question is: How was your twenty twenty three? How was your year? Generally speaking. Alhamdulillah. My yes, my my twenty three years was good, uh, and uh, uh, there were uh, two major events. Uh, I uh, 
think of in uh, 23, uh, the changing of government uh, in, uh, in my country in July, 26 July, uh, the leaving of French army, or uh, same thing, it is the same, uh, uh, say it is uh, in the same context. Uh, and the second thing important is my traveling uh, to Suriname, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me, yes, and can you tell me more about your trip to Suriname? What did you enjoy about it? Uh, uh, Suriname was for me a discovery. Uh, I never hear talking about Suriname uh, before receiving mm -hmm. the invitation letter of the vice president. Mm -hmm. Even before I left, everyone to whom I told that I'm going to Suriname, what is Suriname? Which place is Suriname? Which part of the world is Suriname? Suriname. Mm -hmm. So I went to Suriname by the grace mm -hmm. of God. 20 hours of flight, first oh. time I made this kind of traveling. Long time. Istanbul, uh, Istanbul, Niamey to Istanbul, eight hours something. Istanbul mm -hmm. to Amsterdam, eight, eight, three hours of something. Amsterdam mm -hmm. to Suriname, eight hours also of something. Mm -hmm. That was not, the, um, it, is, it, it was nothing uh, regarding the discovery I made mm -hmm. to, to, to go to, to this part of the world and to discover that there was African there. Mm -hmm. Lot of African everywhere, mashallah. Mm. Those people were so happy to meet African kings for the first time in their life. I was a tourist and mm -hmm. I was also African amongst Africa, but a tourist in Africa, in other part mm -hmm. of Africa. Uh, when we come out with our clothes, our dressings, people mm -hmm. are surprised. They drive their cars, they look at us like this. They, oh, I'm sure they wonder, ah, where, does, where do they come from? As soon as they saw us, they know that we are not uh, from the place. We are foreigners. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, a positive curiosity for them to meet their parents coming from where they come. Uh, when I come back home, people ask me, ah, why did you bring a video to put it on national television so that all Niger can see, can discover that place where our uh, ancestors has been taken by force to work now to see their uh, their grandchildren and so on and so on and so on. Uh, I wish we spent more time in Suriname. Perhaps perhaps uh, we will go back to do to discover other places where uh, black Suriname, so black uh, black uh, black uh, Americans are living in that place, their villages, because those I think we do not have so much opportunities to come to Africa. So those who I I exchange I I talk with, they told me that their dream is to to come to Africa. They yes. want to come to Africa. They want yes. to see how Africa look uh, look like. Yes. They want to come. To, uh, they, they want they want to come back in the time, mm -hmm. like if those boats who took them, who has taken them from uh, from Africa to Suriname. Who uh, go back there, see them, and, and and took them back to Africa? We want to discover, because those people they don't know exactly 
which part from Africa they come. Mm -hmm. So any African they, they, they see is their relatives, is their parents. Perhaps uh, perhaps the protocol of uh, the vice president, I meet that lady, perhaps she's my cousin. She's my sister of past time. Perhaps the vice president is from, uh, from Nigeria, from Ghana. Who can tell? Who never, you, you never can tell. So those people, as they don't know which part of Africa they come from, they are all my parents. And all of those 10 kings and queens who have, who have been to Suriname are also from the same family than yeah. those people. It's when I saw the picture of uh, my wife to the protocol of the vice uh, president, she was surprised to see mm -hmm. her black like her. Uh, perhaps mm -hmm. difference is the kind of clothes. Mm -hmm. When she looked at the picture, she, she told to others, "Hey, come, 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 come to see those people. They look as uh, they look like us." <laughs> I was surprised by this kind of reaction, but it pleased me also to see that mm -hmm. she's uh, she's happy to see. Uh, the kind of lady like her in that part of the world. Yes. Suriname was particular, special travel program discovering for me. I don't know if you, we can find 10 people in Niger who have been to Suriname. Till now, most of people I ask, do you, uh, do you know Suriname? They say no. They don't know Suriname at all, at all, because they don't go there. Perhaps in Nigeria and Ghana, those English-speaking countries, we can we can find people, but in French countries like mine, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, for the benefit, only... uh, oh, yes, yes, no, no, go on, go on, yes. Okay, now I was going to introduce you, but I'll let you finish. You can finish your point. Uh, the vice president. It is only uh, the last day because I was. Uh, uh, I, I, I was the ninth king to leave. There was there 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 were all there were only one from Ghana who left uh, before, uh, after me. It is mm -hmm. only the day I was leaving that the vice president knows that I'm not from Nigeria. By the way, mm -hmm. he saw me dressing. Uh, he didn't uh, understand that I was a French-speaking country different from Nigeria, and I was from Niger. Because when you see us. You know that by, by our, if you see Ade, Ade Remy and me and another other kings of Ghana, you think that we come from the same country because we dress alike. Yeah. Very important. And just for the benefit of our audience, I want to go ahead and introduce you formally. Um, for the audience, this is uh, Chi Emir Kane. And if I do not pronounce it correctly, you tell me I learn. Uh, but he's a community-oriented, entrepreneurial, and open-minded leader, university graduate, and member of national, sub-regional, and regional networks, and they served as secretary for external relations of the ACTN, Association of Traditional Chiefs of Niger, and also focal point for SWEDD and United Nations Women, uh, steering committee, member of COTLA, Francophone Africa Coordinator for COTLA and Honorary President of Action and Favor de l'Élimination du Travail des Enfants au Niger. I did learn French for four years in high school in Zimbabwe, and I forgot some of the words, and I will learn, I promise. That's my 2024 goal. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get back. Uh, you mentioned good point. Uh, you go to Suriname, they are they're really very excited to see other, you know, other Africans. Very excited to see that, you know, there are other people like us there. Um, in, in, in Niger, uh, what do you think can be done better so that the children in school start learning more about countries like Suriname? Does Niger need to do something better in education so that they know that there are other countries that are rich in culture? 
I already told you that uh, after I come back from Suriname, when I saw pictures and uh, little videos to people, they ask me why didn't I put all uh, this on national TV so that all Niger can discover uh, this country. Yes. It was the better opportunity for my people to discover those the or those oldest Africans living in, in another in another part of the world than Africa. That was because uh, here we are French, okay. We know very, very important people like United States, China, Japan, and so on and so on. But countries like Suriname, we've at least six hundred thousand people. No. No. Uh, it not not even school, even olders, even those who are for sixty years old, more than that, we don't know this count. All Niger should know that there is this there is this part of of this this Suriname history should normally be teach. When we are talk about slavery, we should take Suriname like example. When 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 we teach slavery and all uh, in history in a uh, in our uh, primary, secondary, and so on, and even in university, no Suriname name. Mm. Because I don't, I don't know if even our teachers know that a place uh, like uh, uh, named uh, Suriname exists in this part of the world. Yes. Nothing about Suriname. We, we, we have a program, uh, we have a program, some books of history that uh, we use in our schools. But I don't know, I don't think if there is something about Suriname that exists. Mm -hmm. But normally, the history of this place should uh, exist in yes. our books, in our books that, that talk about slavery history. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, Suriname is a typical example of places where uh, where uh, where slaves has been taken and for different reasons they gathering there and this place because of them because they become a country I don't know why Suriname does not exist in uh, in because perhaps it is because uh, I think I hear that that place become independent in in 1975 I think perhaps, or, or because of, it is because of uh, the, 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 the European country that colonized uh, uh, that Suriname, uh, we, we don't have uh, uh, the history of uh, Amsterdam and the uh, country that, that Amsterdam colonized in our program. We have French program and what French wanted to teach us in books they gave us, and uh, those books were to, to our children and me myself. Perhaps if, if if those people wanted us to know Suriname, they they will put Suriname in their history book, and uh, Suriname will history will be will be teaching will be will be will be shown to our people uh, in school. Yes, because and, if you want to know Suriname, if to our people, you should go back. We should we, we should go back in history. We should go back 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 in history. Perhaps I'm the first Niger guy that has been to Suriname. <laughs> so Wakari Etewang Fune Kono Fumi Kona Fesi and Datna Sultan Maha Mahamane Mansur of Tesekwa in Niger. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good morning, bonjour. Good morning. 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 Good
Uno ap no wan fati fa we firi fa uno na prisiri na ngaja de so moy gimi. The same way some people without the consent of your ancestors take them to this place, the same way me and other king and queens will come back here with the boats and take you back home. As asre fasi fa de bigi wan fu uno konja asre fasi that you will come back and watch our also and i will be the captain of that boat no one will harm you no one will touch at you no one will take you to fight, take you to another place else. Finish. and me o de captain fu a boat that in no one's man no man do no one sani mo luku gi uno I like Suriname. I like Suriname people. Since I come to this place, I sent a lot of photo video. Me love Suriname and me love Alassane Suriname again. Of our people would like to come here to see you, to greet you, and to be with you. We love you, Konja, Fushi, Alade, Moi, Fesi, Fu, Ono. My team. Me, Ono. When I received your invitation letter, I wonder where is Suriname. Dimi kisa er know that in this me actually serve after Pesra Nande. I discovered Suriname because of your invitation. And we call us Suriname on that Miss Meluku Fayudu. The the first thing that the test the first thing that impressed me is the way you different communities are living together and peacefully. A first sunny Samishi, ja na a first one will be Makandra. I think that Nigeria and Niger should come here to learn from you. And we did it at this map for Nigeria, Muskonja for Mary for Uno. King Adrenaline, will we come? We will come. So thank you for all. God bless this country. God bless the people of this country. God bless the environment of this country. God bless the young of this country. May God make this country more peaceful, more peaceful, make, more beautiful, more wealthy country. Make God make a place this is more and more, more free that day and ukauroko makandra. My king, I need you beside me. I think I need that to come near me, please. Accord with me, it can call me. With your right hand, uh, this is a kind of contract this between, now, between you and me. This now a sort of contract um, to, to you, Nangami, wa Aspra. Between I am people and yours. Wa Aspra for you, Nangades Mafi. Between Africa and Wa aspra to sa Africa nanga desma. From this time. Panaf apistori. From ever. You are we and we are you. You na we and we na you. And we will celebrate this like that. And we appreciate it. And this is yours. Keep it for me. This na you. Thank you very much. It's it's good now you now you can you know now other Niger, people in Niger they get to start learning more about this beautiful culture in Suriname that not most people knew about, um and and with the, I sent. I sent I sent lot of pictures and uh, video to many people when I come back mm -hmm. on, on platform on individual uh, also uh, phone number and the same question where where is Sweden? Mm -hmm. All people to which I sent pictures and video they asked me the same question: Where is this country? Suriname, Suriname, which part of the world? 
I said America, South America. We, they, 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 they tell me we never hear talk, talking about this discount. I think that Suriname is not well known in Africa, even in even in uh, English speaking countries. That's a good point. That's a good point that not so many countries in Africa have been exposed to other cultures that are similar to ours outside of Africa. Right? These are our, these are our people and, that. We uh, and I think that the, the 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 reason of this fact is that Suriname people they don't come to Africa. And African people, few of them, they, they, they go to Suriname. No exchange of uh, people. It is because we've we exchange of peoples. Uh, we can learn about each other. But I think there is no exchange between Africa and Suriname. Even though there were there are a lot of African African uh, people in uh, in Suriname. Yes. They go somewhere else in uh, in the world, perhaps America. Uh, uh, IT and so on and uh, Brazil, Brazil and so on, but we don't come to this part of the world that is uh, very, very the most important part of the world to which they should go to see where they come from to to go to discover their own roots. I hear that uh, there was a village in Sur there is a village in Suriname named Daome. It is clear that. Uh, some of those people, perhaps they know where they come, but most of them, I don't know if they can find where they come. But it, it, it is not important for them to know where they come from. Even as soon as they come to Africa, any part of Africa, Black Africa, Black African countries, when they will go, they will be at, at, at their home. And this is why African Views Organization is a very important platform because now it's bringing exposure to the rest of the Africans who probably did not know most of these things. You know, they have not gotten the opportunity to travel. And this is why we need, you know, very important persons such as yourselves, you know, when you are back in Niger, you are sharing that information now they, you know, they, they want to learn more. Um, in 2024, do you have any plans on expanding on this for other, you know, for the youth in Niger? Is there anything that you are planning on maybe through education, maybe through programs, uh, maybe it's via African views? Uh, do you have any plans you, are, you would like to share with us? I think that the better way of sharing is to, to create the condition for the vice president uh -huh. to come to Niger. Okay. Because when he'll come to Niger, all the media will talk about him. It, it will allow to, to give information about uh, this country and his peoples. Perhaps to, 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 to put an... Uh, and visual documents, videos on TVs to talk a little bit about Suriname so that our people can discover. There should be a, an important event like his visit to Niger, to Nigeria, to Ghana, to South Africa, so that because of his present presence, our media will talk about him, will talk about his country, will talk about his, his history. That's very important because now then, is so. What, what do you think the issue is? Why do you think it has not been done already? Uh, because uh, of uh, uh, the problem of language. Ah, language and, barrier. Uh, mm -hmm. Perhaps the lang language barrier and uh, economic interest. I I don't perhaps uh, uh, countries like uh, our countries uh, in Africa uh, do not uh, do not is not a, a matter of interest for Suriname. <laughs> Suriname has its own. Last year, Suriname has its uh, 
it uh, interest for uh, perhaps with a country like Brazil who are uh, uh, neighbors, uh, America, China, and so on, Japan, I have seen some, some, some Japanese people, and so on and so on. But country like mine, we don't have sea. Mm -hmm. uh, not easy for people of Suriname to go to, to come here to make a business because uh, of uh, the distance, mm -hmm. the language, mm -hmm. and uh, the center of interest for them. But uh, a delegation uh, with the vice president, he will not come alone. He will mm -hmm. come uh, certainly with uh, some uh, business people from Suriname mm -hmm. who would like to see what they, which kind of uh, business they can make in Niger. We have uh, we have uh, poor, uh, poor with uh, Cotonou. We have poor uh, for uh, Burkina Faso to. Uh, to uh, to to yes to every cost we have another poor uh, through Benin to Lomé and uh, another poor uh, we can if we cross some countries but uh, I think that uh, the the coming of the vice president will can change the situation right. between my country between my country and uh, and Suriname in other countries as well. And that's why with the African Royal Kingdom and the different branches they have now, you know, using the African Royal Institute, this is something that they can incorporate, bring the vice president of Suriname to different countries like Niger, um, you know, make the people now, you know, and, 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 I, and I know what you mean. It's very important when somebody who has a very important role because then everybody comes and wants to know where is this person from um, and what country is yes. this. You know, young children, they start you know, learning about Suriname, right, too, like the young children in schools. Um, when you were in Suriname, what were, the, were, what were the main similarities that you saw between Surinamese culture and culture in Niger? If we remove language barrier, oh, other first, similarities. Uh, first, first, first similarity, there was not so much, but first similarity, we are all black. Okay. Big important similarity. Yes. <laughs> uh, because of religion, we dress differently. Mm -hmm. our, our, yes, because of culture and religion, uh, our dressing are different. But Suriname people, they like our way of dressing. Mm -hmm. They like Niger way, Nigeria way, South Africa way, Ghana way. They like the, they like the way that uh, Queen of uh, Ghana dress. Mm -hmm. African tradition only. No yes. one uh, amongst us who dress European and so on. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. And uh, those people, they like that, but... Uh, I think about uh, except that color, no much similarities. Uh, the way those people uh, behave, we have been invited to that concert uh, organized for uh, for uh, that event for uh, for those uh, Black Americans. I saw the way those people are uh, dancing. I think it should be uh, linked to that dancing of of. Uh, of African uh, slaveries are doing in that past time that we will call voodoo, perhaps voodoo dancing also. They dance with fire. Someone has something on his head. Uh, women uh, have uh, white powder. And I, it is typically African. Perhaps African, but not from my culture, but it was typically African. The way they dress for, uh, the way they dress to dance, what they are doing is typically African. It shows people coming from that continent where people do this kind of thing. They, perhaps those people continue to, they, they should be perhaps from, from Benin. Why not? From, uh, I don't know, because Benin, they have good also. Uh, there are similarities, not only with Niger. Niger, the only similarities, the particular similarities I have noticed is color, my color. And with them, uh, they don't wear my clothes. They don't speak my language. Um, that's why I told you that it was the main discovery for me in uh, 
in, uh, in 2023 to discover this country. That's why it was a discovery, because we have so many things that we share together. Okay, so I want to, I want to talk about the Uniting Africa. What do you think will be the best way for Africans in Africa to become united, number one? Um, what it, to become united so we have peace, so that we can one day have a common language, a common currency, perhaps even common traditions. What do you think would be the right way to do that as Africans? For common language first. Yes. Countries like mine and, and Ivory Coast, uh, Burkina, Benin, we should let, we should left, like Rwanda, we should left French to, 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 to go directly to, to, to English, to, to, to English. Mm -hmm. So, all, Francophone countries do that. We will come close. Kala is me too. Like, 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 and so on, and so on, and so on. It is the, we are rich in Africa. Mm -hmm. We are rich, but we have our natural realities. Uh, we are not peoples that we have that with time with, with time we are discovering uh, those people those things and the need for us to them uh, Africa Af African person uh, is someone who live simple life. Mm -hmm who had very linked with nature. He, who, who can live with few things in his life. So thank God, thank God we have not the only one on, the, on, on, on this earth. Uh, we have uh, people from Europe and America that, that, uh, that bring so many things to us so that can be also uh, useful for us. But the, the language we speak, I think we, we don't we don't have to change our traditional language. Me I speak there are Jarma, there are Fulani, there Nigeria. So those same peoples in uh, Ghana, you can find those same peoples Fulani in Guinea, Guinea Conakry, and so on. We don't have to change our traditional languages. But if Francophones become anglophone. It will uh, bring us closer. If you can speak the same uh, language, if it's uh, English, uh, that will be, I think, uh, a very important point to bring African people closer. Our traditional language, we should let them like that because it is a kind of identity for us. When I speak Hausa, King Adegemi also can catch me. Another kings coming from Nigeria can catch me. Coming from Ghana, those kings who who, are, who come from Ghana, when they speak Hausa, they can catch me. And if they speak Hausa also, they are not Hausa, but they understand the language. That's important. So we keep that. Languages that we borrow from white people so that we can choose one that we can speak. And I think that all African speaking countries should become, uh, or that can become closer. Become united, yes. And as we move going, you know, in 2024 and just moving forward, um, the what do the youth need to start thinking about um, that they have not thought about before? Is there something they need to start doing differently? And I think we just, can you hear me now? Um, I just wanted to yes. get me, uh, you know, any any words you have for the African youth, because they also can research information on their own. 
Now, I want to ask specifically in Niger, do they have platforms that allow them to do that sort of research if they want to learn more about the culture and if they want to be yes, able of course. to? Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, but uh, I don't think that uh, Niger people are so, and Niger youth mm -hmm. are so interested the uh, user youngs are so interested by culture. What they are interested to is uh, anyone is struggling uh, to build uh, a way for him to, to 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 live a, a better life. Mm -hmm. That is what we also are doing for uh, young girls in uh, in the in the kingdom. Uh, but they have uh, they have means. They have means to make research to, to discover other things because they they is more and more internet everywhere, everywhere in the country, and uh, more and more uh, youngs are using internet. They make it, but I don't know if culture is a point of interest to them. Uh, they make the research for something else, but uh, uh, for culture to be interesting for. Them, It is some thing that can attract their interest to culture. So there has to be something that's very interesting for them. Is it something that will be done through the school system? Or is it something that will be done through programs such as these that we have now, like with African views? Uh, from school is better because uh, to prepare to prepare another generation who can be well aware, uh, uh, well attracted by uh, culture and its realities, its differences. Uh, a generation that can replace this one in the future that uh, will have another behavior toward the culture's interest. But that is why I think that more start by schools now. Because all this, we have another uh, problems, another issues to, to, to resolve then. Uh, than uh, looking, uh, than making research about culture. It's very important. Now, in terms of, is my, my last question for you, um, and also working with the African Views Organization, um, how do you see your 2024, or what does your 2024 look like uh, with the work that you will be doing with African Views and also helping, you know, um, just preserving the culture, preserving the identity. What does your 2024 look like? Uh, my, uh, my interest, what I'm working on, uh, on uh, for uh, this year are more uh, improving, uh, empowering young girls uh, to, to prepare women of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because most of our population here, particularly women, they are poor. So I work a lot with UNFPA, UN women, to, to change things. And uh, I have the chance to have, uh, to be very, to have a lot of support, because uh, those support that I receive from those uh, United Nations organization. When I talk about uh, those supports in front of other skins, they were surprised to hear all what all what those uh, organizations uh, an example. Uh, inshallah during this one hundred and sixty young girls from uh, a, uh, from uh, 40, 15 years old to 17 years old, I'm going to give uh, each for 100 kilograms uh, oil for cooking uh, uh, and uh, three goats for, for herself. Because here, uh, organizations that help women, they only help Mama, mama this help girls, nobody help girls. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all these young girls among those uh, 
160 orders I will give them that machine to to a uh, machine uh, to uh, in which you put uh, uh, seeds and you have and, and you have uh, powders to to cook and so on and so on so that those girls can work by themselves with their materials to earn their their, their, their money and to have their own income, their own incomes that is a, a part one part two just uh, this week uh, i have uh, financial support with, 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 with another organization to take uh, uh, 30 girls young girls same age uh, that uh, have diploma but that are uh, diploma for uh, for uh, secondary schools to put them in a uh, polytechnic local polytechnic uh, 30 girls who pull the local polytechnic to teach them something to do uh, in the future in, the, in, in their life that is my own program because of the reality of our uh, environment and social reality. absolutely absolutely uh, thank you so much for sharing that information with us merci beaucoup merci, merci, merci. à vous aussi yes <laughs> à la prochaine yes <laughs> merci allez au revoir Au revoir. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to hearing more of your work. Thank you.